review for you today. This has five Google hits as of right now, and four of them are from the company. <laughs> it's pretty new. It's new. <laughs> we don't even know what it costs. Uh, I'll try and get the cost, whether I'll have that for the time of the review. I'm gonna guess when you're watching this, the review is gonna be a little bit because I still have V for this Saturday, then I have oh, yeah. the, we did another, oh, we did the root. The root? I gotta review, I gotta release that. Yeah. Then this will go out, so maybe I'll have the price by then. I was, I was thinking we did a whole lot more last week than you posted this week. Yeah, I, well, I fell behind on one of the reviews, so I posted the Gentleman Jack review uh, is this a week pop? late. Yes, that was, yes, it's because it's awfully carbonated. <laughs> <laughs> so how does, how does that pour? The it's got like an Earl Meyer flask like design, <laughs> which is really cool. So I you could probably that, repurpose this. Yeah, dude. No, seriously. <laughs> like the best bottle. I bet you these guys came up with this bottle before they even had the product. No doubt. Because it's it's so simple. Like people go like so whacked out crazy with yeah. bottles, and they're like, I mean, "Well, why don't we just use a uh, what do you call it? Earl Meyer flask. Yeah, Earl Meyer flask, and and we'll um we'll chemically. Uh, what do they call bottle. it? Yeah, but they, they chemically, they use the chemical they to frost it. To frost it, there's like you dip it. And psh, right, right. And so <laughs> it's really easy. And I'm guessing that's not the real hazard sign, but they make it look like like a biohazard sign. Yeah, it's close. Dude, it looks like a Resident Evil or like a, a video game biohazard right. sign. Now, when you look at this versus Crystal Head, this is cooler because Crystal Head's probably a lot more money. I don't know how much this is, but I can tell you the Crystal Head bottle design is costly. This yes. is just created. That's molded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is molded too, but their mold is probably more expensive. Oh, I wouldn't think so. I mean, this is a uh, what is it? An Earl Meyer flask. Earl <laughs> Meyer. Well, it's not because it's got the it's got the well, it's, it's, it's the it's, right size for bottle. It doesn't have measurements. It's got the little nub on it. So it's a bottle, but it's modeled after an Earl Meyer flask, right? Yeah. I just can never remember that. I haven't heard that since high school. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, use it to make meth. Peg, peg. I mean, use it to make nose. meth. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not suggesting that you take the bottle and use it to make meth after you're done drinking the vodka. No. But it's, it's guessing. I don't know where don't this know. is made. I don't I pulled... know. <laughs> Doctor Plum would know. He's so, a chemist. He could tell me. I was thinking, where the hell is my ball? I was thinking hmm. of it's what to compare this to. to, and when I smelled it, it changed my thoughts. Yeah. So this is six times distilled from corn. And this the Tito's is distilled from corn. I can't remember this. Six times six distilled times from corn. Distilled from corn. And it Perfect. smelled just like that. So. I had thought, well, why would what would we compare this to Some to water. figure it out? I, I added water into there. Did I just add water in here? Or was that was that was vodka? Well, no look, water. I'm gonna add rake into it to water it down. Um, <laughs> I, I wanted to really just kind of figure out Come what eye on you. <laughs> what to baseline this new product. I could, I mean, smell yeah. this. Now smell that. Yeah. It has that. This has pure... a little bit more of a uh, uh, this, the odor to it than th that yeah, does did, for some reason, but. It's brighter. I, I smell them and I'm like, oh wow, a vodka with an odor. There's right. a lot of the neutral green vodkas. <laughs> an odor doesn't. It's, it's no, not like feet. With an aroma. Right. <laughs> aroma? Yeah, or, or, Is that aroma, better? I guess. Okay. It has a nose. It has a nose. Yeah. That was different. I'm going to drink it. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're recording. Uh, that, it, it does make it a little bit different, but some of that odor nose aroma is kind of that ethanol, like a very clean yeah, ethanol yeah. smell. Not rubbing alcohol per se, because it doesn't have the astringency that I usually get out of a rubbing alcohol, but it has the, 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 the nose smells like a corn distillate. Like that's what I would imagine. And that, that's why I thought of Tito's. I was gonna pull out Reka, which I was kind of using as the basis, but I don't even having know what Having not read that yet. Right, yeah. having not really looked at, I don't like so to that was, look a, that was a game time decision right there. Right, I like to try and just swap over. get all random. Hello over there. Jen has entered the building. So Jennifer will be here on the live stream shortly. It's uh, I was gonna say live dot everyday drink. We'll be much much more shortly than last week because she's only operating on one crush this week, which is good. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Halfway there. So the taste, my friend. This is Tito's. Oh, I moved the wrong one over. Yep. Do you already smell are you taste that one and smell it? Yep. Mmm. That was a really big sip. I could tell by the <laughs> swishing the noises yeah. that were coming out of your mouth. But you know what? It wasn't bad, right? No. I mean, like, as far as vodka's go, it's... There's a time when, when I when I accidentally take a big swig of something and I go, oh, that was a bad idea. You're going to spit it all over your bar, man. Right. Yeah. But I, it was very crisp. Wow, it went down really quick. Well, that was my first alcohol taste. So typically, yeah. that first one is going to be a little bit more striking and vibrant because your body, your, your mouth hasn't. This is smoother grown. than the Tito's. I think. This isn't. My, my mouth is didn't even need to adapt to this. No, it's good. 
Hmm. Did you put the Tito's in your face? No, I didn't. I wanted to make sure well, I had put as big a sip as the Tito's as you did the other stuff. As the virus. Why? Why? You trying to make. Dude. I'm just saying. Equal I, comparison. I'm going to be drunk before we start the show. Okay. You're not driving anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do live here Ooh. in this space, right? Yeah. There's a difference. There is. I don't know what it is, but it, there's there's this factor. This is a lot more mellow. The, the virus is a oh, lot yeah. more mellow than the Tito's. <laughs> <laughs> and it's less like <laughs> facial expression inducing. Yeah, that's... <laughs> again, the Tito's is still not astringent, but there is definitely a knockout factor that this is this is not giving me. Hmm. I'm not getting that, okay, three seconds, four seconds, ah, could to the face. Could be interesting to use. I don't a, understand uh, why that is. This isn't bad. I was not expecting that type of... I would say effect. this would be decent in a vodka heavy cocktail, like a vodka martini or something, where yep. the vodka's supposed to come out. Yep. Uh, it, and As opposed to ice. a drink with vodka that you want to hide the vodka. Like a screwdriver? Although the screwdriver would probably be fine. Paul Harvey Wellbanger, yeah. maybe, because the, uh, yeah, the yeah. liquor uh, anise flavor. Yeah, see, I I think that I don't know what the price is. I'm going to say if probably competitively priced. The thing that I like on here, Wait, my like favorite, bucks? I was thinking, yeah, 20, anywhere 20 to $25 yeah. probably are pricing, maybe 27 30 for most other uh, other places. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. New York is probably more money. Yeah, a couple hundred for us. I would yeah. expect it to fall in between these two bottles. Yeah, I can see uh, that. But I don't... I know what I like? Nowhere does it say ultra premium. Right. <laughs> because it's a stupid thing to say. Because ultra premium means nothing. It's just marketing bullshit. Yeah. Right, so I, I think they, they kind of just say, look, it is what it is. It's, it's in a it's in a, a, a type of flask. Earl and Meyer. Earl and Meyer. <laughs> Ebola. <laughs> Ebola. It's, a, it's, it's an Ebola, Ebola flask. flask. Uh, yeah, just say that, though. Yeah, that, that's work. good for their business. And that's good for marketing. <laughs> it's good for marketing. I mean, they're it's bottled by Immortal Brands in North Charleston, South Carolina. Immortal. <laughs> Six times distilled. It's got the. It's here's the thing that's still blowing my mind is it's the same distillate to count as Tito's. Right. It's the but same. But it's got not as much harshness. Yeah. Hmm. Who knows? Um, so I I was afraid the marketing was going to be a little bit more of the hype. But yeah, there's it, a little sweetness it, to it. Yeah, I don't, is there a hair of sweetness in there? I don't, I don't know, know what they're doing. Uh, Gluten-free, kosher certified, yada, yada, yada. Made in America. Because so, Yeah, taste what thousands of years of evolution have uh, have become and enjoy virus for your response. Um, they have a little marketing spiel on the back, but yeah. it's very scientific. It, it looks this, like a little small print on it. Think, think <laughs> Halloween I like the cocktails, yeah. right? Yeah. Halloween cocktails, a couple bottles of that, because everybody's going to be bringing vodka at parties, because mm -hmm. parties equal vodka equal, like... Debauchery and I'm looking for some more big words, uh, uh, things like that. Mischief and, mischief and dis debauchery and, uh, and ballyhoo and, and belly that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, that's it, exactly. <laughs> you, if you're looking for ballyhoo, ballyhoo and such, um, you, you should Cheerio. put that. It's got vodka. It's vodka got bubbles. Clean. Yeah, but they they flash away pretty quick. Yeah, I yeah. think that's good for proofage. Uh, definitely recommend that, regardless of what the price is. I don't even care. I just bought it. Unless shatter. it was like seventy dollars. Slap that yeah. vodka. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I was surprised. It's good stuff. Yeah. That's all I had to say. I mean, we're it's not. Vodka. I mean, I, we're we're kind of in the same boat when it comes to vodka. It's a neutral grain spirit. There's not a lot of character that right. usually comes out in it. It's very nuanced but, to how you're going to make a difference between one is. to another, yeah, especially in a mixed cocktail. Right. But as far as this goes, it seems yeah, now yeah, decent. It's I'm not going to run out because this is this is what happens right now. Is everybody's leaving comments? Hey, can you review Kettle One? Hey, can you review Russian Standard? Hey, can you? No. no! Like, I'm not you know going what? out of my way to review vodkas. It's a neutral brain spirit. You know what we did do, if you want to look in, you know, channel search, we did a vodka uh, blind tasting with about, what, 17 different vodkas? Right. Including one it. where we took a rod gut, $5, you know, Britta filled the shit out of that. Britta filtered it like six times, threw that in the mix, and compared it to its original, along with the other 15 right. vodkas, so... That is... That is if, if you're interested in vodka people reviews, going, check that out. How come you didn't add Smirnoff into that list. I'm because like, it wasn't in your shelf. I don't have it, right? So <laughs> I'm not going to go out and buy your favorite vodka to review it. If you know the company, like one of our fans who I think said to do this because I or, or to contact them, I'm not going to go out and buy the vodka. But if I get it, I will review it. That's it. But I'm not going to go review all my other vodkas. I can tell you why. Here's a review. Tastes like vodka. Now you go to everydaydrinkers.com, and then you go to awesomedrinks.com, and you get your Glen Con glasses. Yep. I just moved it forward and backwards, because it's that important. And there's your Tito's. It's still in the glass. The other one's gone. 
Take that as you will. Fix that. No way! No! <laughs> That's the site. That's the product. We're teaching you how to drink! You good? You all? I'm settling. I'm settling. Home row keys? All right, let's go! All right! You want to know what different vodkas taste like? You want a blind vodka tasting? You want to know if you can brew filter vodka? You We're got it. it all right yeah. now! Cut it up! <laughs>